Hey nerdlings. Hello nerdlings. So it's windy and it's chilly and it's time to go and check out an indoor flea market and see what kind of goods we can find. Woohoo! Come on down and join the fun. There's something here for everyone at our garage sale. Hey nerdlings! What up nerdlings? We are checking out an indoor garage sale and we are ready to find some cool deals because look there's some games back there. There's already a booth back there and we have our trusty DK barrel. So let's find some stuff to fill it. All right, we survived and made it out of the giant indoor garage sale. So we are going to get some food and get home and see what we got. Yay. All right, nerdlings, we made it home. And uh, you know what? She's tired, she's tucked her <laughs> It was it was a very successful it was a garage very good sale. Garage event this much year. better than last year. Yeah, a last year better. I got one thing, one game. Honey? Well, oh. move everyone aside. Hey, I yeah. found one game. Yeah. Um, this year I did a lot better, but uh, we also found just in general a lot more stuff. Yeah, there was a lot more um, stuff that piqued our interests and whatnot. <laughs> And I want to do a shout out to Jeremy over at KSGF. Um, he hooked us up with blue wristbands to get us in 30 minutes early. So we were, it really, I think, helped out this time because we were able to literally walk the entire floor mm -hmm. and look at, quickly look at all the booths to determine, so it made shopping easier. Like for instance, we found a couple of booths that we definitely wanted to go back to and so we made a mental note of that yeah. hit the rest of the floor and then we were able to go back to those booths not feeling so uh self-conscious about spending money there yeah. and thinking well what if there's something else at a different booth yeah because we knew what was going to be at what and we knew that you know this booth had definite stuff i'm definitely buying and you know vice versa so i think it really helped out so thanks jeremy yeah thank you very much and again uh so the garage sale it is a yearly thing that happens every year in January so it's the perfect excuse if it's actually cold outside to go in stay warm and do something have something fun to do yes and uh, there's all kinds of vendors there's uh, you know like homemade crafts and taste testing areas and everything which is really cool because then you get to talk mm -hmm. to the people find out what's in the stuff that you're trying uh, yes. various dips and coffees and drinks and you know Bread. just all kinds of stuff Jellies. and yeah any just any questions you may have, they're right there to work with you and you know, talk it up and tell you what you should try and everything. So, I guess uh, right off the bat, speaking of those, we did pick up that's right from um, Red Rooster Dip Mix. We picked up a um, onion and garlic uh, dip that you uh, combine sour cream and mayonnaise and make a really tasty dip. And they had a bunch of different flavors. But this was the one that we both went off of, and I really wish you guys had smell of vision because <laughs> oh my gosh, good, it yeah. smells just in the in the thing itself just already smells so good. So the nice thing is about uh, things like this and the other one mm -hmm. that we got mm -hmm. is 
like she said, they're really simple to make, so it's real quick and easy. Yeah. And so that's what add that like makes them one so or two nice. ingredients, and then you know, there you go. And so some of the other things that we got were some actual drinks, yeah, some, some little drink mixes. And they said that you could just throw that into some water mm -hmm. if you want. You could throw it in milk to make it yep. a little creamier, or just you know mix the mix yeah. into your black coffee. And, and this is from Ozark Mountain Dessert. Uh, well, not dessert coffee. That's just what they call it. But it's from Ozark Mountain Coffee. And it's another local um, company around here that's making their own coffees. And this one, um, you can kind of see, it kind of looks like granulated because they said the, the creamer is kind of like already mixed in there. So, And the other thing that I love about these booths is they have them to try. I would never just <laughs> buy these just reading it. I mean, we got turtle and coconut rum. But it's like, you know, you think something's going to be good and sometimes it's not. Or sometimes you're like, oh, that's not going to be good. And you're like, oh, that was good. So... Kudos to the people who had the stuff to taste test. And we also got from their booth another bag of beer bread mix. Yes. That was something that we picked up last year, and it is very good. It is, because all, literally all you do is add a can of beer. And they said light beer will make the bread flavor more. Dark beer will give you more of the beer bread flavor, so you'll taste the bread and the beer. Right, because so it's, it's usually a stronger beer yeah. the darker it So is. they said, you know, it kind of depends on what you want. And something I learned this time is if you don't want to use beer you can use sprite or seven up nice so i thought that so was there you neat. Go. so you don't have to do an alcoholic but yeah last year we got just the regular bread this time we branched out and got the um the uh sun-dried tomato and parmesan cheese and it was awesome all right so <clears throat> it's gonna be a lot of fun to mix those up and try those we're gonna be full and hyper on coffee but uh <laughs> but that's not what we went for we went to find cool weird stuff that's kind of what i went for because i knew that it was gonna be there <laughs> um something interesting of note is there weren't a whole lot of comics but nope. we did find a couple we did and she likes to point out that this time he got more than i yeah, did they're, they're about, i got three comics this time soon. So uh, I've been having a lot of fun checking out uh, Vampirella stuff. So I got a legendary Vampirella, which has more of a steampunk vibe to it. I, because I'm into Spider-Woman and Spider-Verse at the moment, picked me up a Jessica Drew Spider-Woman Spider-Verse comic. And then for our little one, she's been very interested in Carnage. So we picked this one up for her. Despite that warning there at the bottom that it's not for kids, she is a teenager. So we'll give this a look-see first and decide if it's all right to and send her away. face it, they probably can find worse stuff on the internet than, than in a comic. So, and moving on with my Silk obsession lately, I found another Silk comic. And the funny thing is, with this one, cracks me up because they're doing that, to, that classic um, picnic on the, the beams of a high restaurant or a high <laughs> building. But Silk is roasting a marshmallow on Human Torch's um, head. So I thought that was funny. And I picked up a couple of uh, X-Men comics and X-Men and Wolverine. X-Men, X-Men. These are to fill in some collection gaps. I love the 90s theme song. The last one I picked up, this one was hilarious because it's all kinds of mixes. We have Guardians of the Galaxy with Howard <laughs> the Duck impersonating the Nirvana um, CD cover or album cover, I guess I should say. So I just thought that was hilarious, so I had to jump for that. And one more thing that I got Vampirella was Prelude to Shadows, and this was a, uh, a thicker one. I'm not quite sure if it's a trade paperback or just a special edition. It's a bigger book. But the nice thing was on all of these, uh, these were 50% off yeah. of their stickered price. So And the majority of them were like $2.99 anyway, right, so you got made half it, of $2.99. It made it real easy to uh, go ahead and jump on those. It actually made it really annoying for me to not find any more comics. <laughs> Now, we did pick up a couple of stuff in the movie realm. Yes, we did. Um, why don't you start us off this I will time? start off. I don't know if any of you ever watched the made-for-TV movie Librarians with Noah Wiley, and then it went on to be a TV show, because I think there were, were there four? Two, three, three, three movies, movies. And then the TV show. So we picked up the second one. They returned to King Solomon's Mine, and these are really great if you've never watched them. They're really um, fun. Noah Wiley is quirky and goofy and kind of like... Indiana Jones if you were a big dork. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one that we picked up. And then I love me some Tombstone. And I this is a special edition Tombstone, and I think I have a regular Tombstone. So I wanted this one because I had a bunch of extra special features. So it's one, I'll, of, one I'll of my be favorite your Huckleberry. Movies. Will you be my Huckleberry? <laughs> You're a daisy if you do. 
And then just because they were very cheap, I went ahead and got <laughs> this season... Is, this is dating us big time. <laughs> season one and two of uh, Drawn Together. These are the uncensored versions. Oh, no. But uh, this was a Comedy Central series. It was a cartoon series that was in the vein of reality TV shows. Think of, like, the real world. Yeah. And you have various different cartoon characters living in the same house together. So, like, you have a superhero, a Disney princess, a like internet a, tune. A Betty Boop version, and she was black and white. And the whole time, she was black and white. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's very, you know, lewd and immature, raunchy humor, but... Yeah, like she said, it's it's dating us. So. And I think it was like two bucks, so we didn't care. Is there something else you would like to show off? When I you were would. In? I picked up some plushies. <laughs> These are great. I picked up some McDonald's plushies. I just <laughs> thought they were cute. It was five bucks for the pair. And you've got like, I don't know if it's like a milk, I, I th to me it looks like a milkshake. But it might be just a, a soda for McDonald's and then a, 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 a burger. I remember these back in the day. Um, they're kind of vintagey. I don't know how old He's a dapper burger because he is he a dapper has burger. a bow tie He's got like a bow tie on him. And he got, uh, but those are so super cute. And the straw does have like a little <laughs> master thing. shake there. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought they were cute. <laughs> so you see, you never know what you'll find. And then I got some video games, which is very cool because it's better than the one that I found last year. Yes! I found one game. <laughs> so for one, uh, I found this, I believe it is Arkista's Ring, and I do not know anything about this game, but that cover really drew me to it, and uh, I looked up the price, it was pretty fair at the time of recording this, January 2019, and mm -hmm. then uh, the guy actually cut me a really great deal on the bundle yes. of stuff that I picked up, so I wanted to go ahead and try that one out, and then I got... Wanderers from Why Yes <laughs> Wanderers of East 3 and this was uh, one of those Super Nintendo games that I used to stare at a lot when growing up in the video rental store mm -hmm. but it is an RPG and if anyone ever rented video games as a kid you know how that goes you know you only have it for the weekend you get yeah. this far into it yeah your game's saved but by the time you get to rent it again that yeah. thing's gone RPGs are the worst to rent. <laughs> and it wasn't just Nintendo because I got Mega Bomberman for the Mega Drive or Mega Mega Sega Genesis if you're like us <laughs> in America. <laughs> but that's a shame because, uh, you know, they could have just called it Sega Bomberman. Mega Mega! And then the guy actually threw in for free as part of the bundle. Like, he took the price of the bundle he brought it down, uh -huh. and then he threw this in for free. Yeah. It is the uh, Sega Saturn backup cartridge. And it, he had 20 bucks on it, too. Yeah, yeah. So. He saw that I was holding it for a little while, and then I thought, uh, maybe I don't need that. And I put it back, but yeah, he spoke up, and he said, yeah. you know, why don't you go ahead and take that? I don't I don't think anyone else is going to be looking yeah. for that. So, hey, works for me. It's pretty awesome. So that's the first part of my game pickup. Why don't you show something more of yours? Well, I picked up, and it's probably going to glare big time inside the box, but I picked up a Marvel Studios the uh, first 10 years. They've been putting out a bunch of, like, duo boxes, and this is Tony Stark and Iron Man Mark One, And so I just, these normally go for, like, $40 in the store, and they wanted 10 bucks for it. And that was the first thing I saw as we were walking by, and I... I looked at him and I said, I'm going back to that booth when we're ready to start buying because 10 bucks for those is really great. I mean, I'm not, I like Iron Man. I'm not a huge Iron Man fan, but, you know, I was just like, for 10 bucks, I can't pass that up to add to my Marvel Legends collection. So, so now that we have Tony and his uh, Mark, is it Mark or Mach 1? Mark 1. Mark 1. Whatever. They're mock ups. Anyway, um, it's really neat because it's definitely just like in the, the movies because I haven't read any of the, the original comics where you can tell that these are pieces that he found around. Because they've got, like, paint chips and different colors. Yeah, I thought that was stuff. a a nice touch, showing, like, the various paint jobs. Mm-hmm. And the diff you can see the different, like, gears and servos and whatnot. And it does... His little feet barely move back and forth. He bends at the knees. He, he's got, a, a basically, a ball joint for his hips and his arms. And the arms rotate, but they don't... They do bend at the elbows, but not very well. I think just because he's so big and bulky, the head does not move whatsoever. 
and he does move at the waist just side to side and that is it but it's very very highly detailed as per usual for um <clears throat> marvel legends and he came with what i think looks like a pipette but it's i guess it's supposed to be a flame ball that doesn't even shoot out of there just kind of fits in his little arm <laughs> Pew. Then we move on to Mr. Stark here, and he was actually kind of hard out of the box to get to stand up because his feet were wonky and I didn't want to break them. But, once again, it looks to me exactly like um, Robert Downey, Robert Downey Jr. Jr. Yeah, they, they did a great job with his face. Either that or, you know, that, that guy in, what was it, Kentucky? Yeah. Gary? Gary. Tony needs Gary. And Gary needs to be quiet oh. about it. Yeah. I mean, it looks Tony like one of them. Tony needs Gary, and Gary <laughs> needs to get on the roof. To get on the roof. He does some stomach crunches. <laughs> he does. You can hear him too. Click, click. But he's in his suit that he's in in the first movie when before he gets kidnapped or well or whatever it is. But he's got actually a lot of movement to him. Now I will They're say, just really stiff movements. as good as he looks, um, I remember that you have a Tony Stark figure that has more of the Iron Man flair to it. Yeah. With, like, the color of his tie. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This one is neat because, he again, he bends at the knees, he bends at the ankles, the feet bend at the ankles and go side to side. His hips, base, he's, his legs, what would you, like, swivel at the... I don't know what joint that is. That's not a real <laughs> joint. Legs aren't supposed to move there. But uh, then they move into the sitting position. His wrists do not move, but they move at the elbow, and then they bend at the just below the shoulder, and then they move at the shoulder, and then his head nods and twists. So there's that. And then the other thing that I got, which um, is these actually came out right around Christmas time. These are... Uh, they're not Barbie dolls, but they're like Barbie doll-like. Um, and these are $30 in the store, and they only had eight on it. And this is actually buried under a bunch of other toys. I didn't see it until I went back to buy <laughs> this one. And so it's kind of funny that I this is Dumbledore. I love all of the fact that he's got, like, you know, clothes and everything. He has Barbie hair, but his beard is plastic. <laughs> yeah, that's kind so of So I weird. thought that was kind of weird. But they do have other ones. They've got Harry and Hermione and Ron and Ginny and McGonagall. And so I was actually telling them at Christmas time I wanted to collect these. And so it's kind of funny that we found my first one. <laughs> and for clear. such a good price. And too. such a great price. So, Okay, so <clears throat> now that we have Mr. Dumbledore out of the box, you can see his um, Elder Wand a lot better. And he does move at the elbows. They bend at the elbows and his arms bend out and up and down just like regular his legs move up and down and out and they bend at the knees um his little hat comes off if it needs to i think by I mean, you can look at him and tell me what you think i think this is based on the first dumbledore definitely um because you know his beard it's not like braided or tied mm -hmm. up or anything it's it's as flowing as plastic as a molded plastic beard can be but uh yeah especially even in his eyes you can kind of the see eyes it. and the way he wears his hair the original dumbledore basically just did have you know his hair going long with a hat cap over it kind of like this guy whereas the other one i felt like he maybe fixed it a little bit or maybe did a little yes. differently because i know he wore a different kind of hat so i think this is based on the first one i'm really impressed with these dolls like i said i think it's a little odd that they gave him a plastic beard but I mean, the robes are really pretty. It's a you know a, a faux crushed velvet robes, and you know he's got boots on, and he doesn't have any underwear on. Well, that's interesting. There's he's maybe he's part Scottish. There's nothing under the skirts. Oh, that's what I picked up. What's the rest of your pickup? <coughs> yeah. Do, do you need a drink? No, I'm fine. Are you fine. sure? You need to wet the whistle. Milkshake for your whistle. So something that we picked up, <laughs> honestly, just for the box. It's not in the best of shape. There's, you know, it's kind of smushed a little. But uh, for five dollars, we got Doctor Mario. And we already and had the game and everything. I will pass it on to you so I, you can open it up. And I did. See I picked it up and I said, "Do we have the box?" And he said, "No." And I knew we had the cartridge because it's my favorite game, and he makes sure I always get Doctor Mario. But uh, so 
We do have the booklet. We've got the booklet. The sleeve. No uh, styrofoam. The cartridge looks a little rough. But since top. we already have yeah. the game, it's no problem. It's not a big deal. But so I just, I basically bought it for the box. <laughs> <laughs> and who amongst us game collectors has not done that? Exactly. Another box game that I got was Swords and Serpents. And let me just say, first of all, admire that front cover. That is gorgeous. Now, future Tom will have to help me out and maybe we can find out if, if that is a Boris Vallejo art piece because it really looks like his style. Now, as we open it up, we have, it looks like the maybe a poster but we got the sleeve and the cartridge cartridge looks really nice it looks, uh, very damaged because uh -oh. it looks like somebody had it on their wall and then the styrofoam inside the game yeah, see, i didn't have the styrofoam the in my box the box is actually a pretty good shape so no manual but we do have the poster and like she said the poster looks like it's had some love to it like maybe yeah. it was taped up or something but I mean, it's a pretty advertisement on the back, but it's pretty cool looking. So who wouldn't want that hanging on the wall? And then it's only three dollars. So I went ahead and I got Family Guy on the PSP UMB video uh, again because it was just three bucks. But it's seasons one and two. And when you take it out of the box and open it up, it's got all of your little is that foam. It is it's foam. That's cool. It's got all of your little UMB in there so like i said that was just because it was three dollars it looked like it was complete because it had the sleeve and you all know, the something discs. i just realized apparently we weren't that stupid when psp came out because there was never any warnings or any thing to prevent you from swallowing the discs <laughs> they're small and swallowable <laughs> now something kind of neat that we picked up at this booth uh, and we kept going back and forth on the price of this but because he cut us such a good deal mm -hmm. it really averaged out that we got it for a good it just price. was the problem was it wasn't in that great of condition for what it was going, right what he wanted it for. it's uh it's got mm -hmm. some wear to it it kind of looks like it has water damage but kind of not so maybe it's just that typical Either it wasn't, I was going to say, either it wasn't stored very well, like in a storage unit or something, or it was very well used because someone really wanted to know how to beat some games. <laughs> so as you can see, it is how to win at Super Mario Brothers, and we did not need this to win at Super Mario Brothers, no. but we needed this to win at the collection game. Because when you look in this thing, it is great. Some of the artwork is just awesome. First of all, on that first flap, there you go, Howard Phillips, a.k.a. Game Master Howard, the one that would hang out with Nestor in all of the uh, Nintendo Power comics. I like how it says, for Howard, work is defined as play, and he's got quotation marks around work and play. Well, yeah, work is definitely play, because that was his Only job, playing games. So, yeah. Now, as you flip through the rest of the book real quick, of course, you have all of these maps to all the stages. And the uh, cool thing is, these are like hand-drawn maps. These are not pictures of the screen or anything. See, these are hand-drawn maps, and it has all these little tips of how to get through the stages, which way to jump, enemies to watch out for. And it shows you, you know, the enemies, how much points or how many points they're worth. But the best part is definitely right here. <laughs> yeah, I love the the graphic drawings. They're kind of like, especially the Koopa King. He looks really odd. It's or King Koopa. It would be very curious to know if this artwork <laughs> appeared anywhere else other than in this book, mm -hmm. because things that are very interesting is look at Princess Toadstool right here. Uh -huh, she's that's got like a, not a toadstool on how, her head. Yeah, that's not quite how we know Princess At Toadstool. At first I was like, oh, is that Princess is that Princess Toadstool's mom? Because she's got like, you know, that like bouffant like thing on her head. I don't know. So this was a, a very fun little find. Um, yeah. Again, not the best condition, but whenever you see artwork like that and it's just such a unique item, it's really hard to pass up. And we just wanted to say thank you guys again who ran the booth for giving us such a great deal because if you are checking out our videos as we passed on a card to you, you can see in the background that it is for sure in a good forever home. Yes, it is. All right, well, I have just one more thing that I picked up. 
So it is a Game Gear traveling case. And this thing has all kinds of pockets on it. And of course, with the size of the Game Gear, you certainly needed it. We have some things in the pockets. The uh, strap, which looks like it has never, ever been used. And then there's a World Series Baseball Game Gear. It'd be very interesting to know if this is the... Remember when you and Peter went game hunting and found the 32X game? Wasn't there some kind of... Wasn't it a sports game? I think it was for the 32X game, though. Oh, okay. Because I was going to say, I thought this looks pretty familiar. And then there's just a Game Gear AC adapter manual. So, as you can see, this carrying case has a nice molded insert or a nice like molded base. Yeah, all. it's in really great shape. Of course, you've got all these little straps to hold your games, and the straps are big enough to hold the games in those dust protectors, mm -hmm. which is really cool. And did you notice that the system is a lovely blue? Mm -hmm. Now, this is actually the second blue Game Gear we have. That looks in better condition than ours. The, it has both battery backs on it. Um, the gentleman did not know if it worked or not, so we will get some batteries in it and test it. So it looks like they left some batteries in there. We have some corroding going on. However, I did go ahead and plug it into an AC adapter. I've got the brightness turned all the way up. I think the sound is turned all the way up. Sega. There you go. If you get in the right angle you can see it a lot better so it looks like we have a working blue gear nice Huzzah! we got this uh whole set here so the game gear the world series baseball game that came with it uh -huh. and the carrying case for ten dollars there's the wrist strap that's not even out of the plastic all right this was a better garage this sale. This was a much better garage sale. Than last year. Yeah, it was. Here you, go. you can put that all right back in there. Much better than just that one game. I found one game. Uh, so games, comics, TV shows. I know, we were very movies, eclectic today. We were toys. all over the place. I think we satisfied pretty much every bit of our typical collecting. <laughs> Everything that we really like to collect, we got at least one thing of each. And uh, we did represent we did. with our shirts and had lots of we compliments We did have a lot of comments. Those. People were like, oh, that's a cute shirt. Oh, you're wearing matching shirts. One person was like, are those your characters? Did you design those? So I do like the fact that people can recognize that this is us. <laughs> and uh, the other thing that got a lot of notice and really helped out carrying all this yes. stuff around, the old Donkey Kong roll around barrel i think it's more famous than we are at this point i think so <laughs> all Not right <laughs> well nerdlings it's been a busy day i think we're gonna get some rest now yes but we would absolutely love to hear some comments about any mm -hmm. of the stuff we got any of the games the toys the Movies. beer bread <laughs> any yes. of it uh Feel free to... Do you have a favorite beer that you like to mix with beer bread? Because the lady there just suggested Budweiser. That's what she uses. So it's like if you have a, a good beer that you like, let us know. Whiskey. That's not beer. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to give the video a like if you happen to like it. And uh, if you happen to like it, you should subscribe if you have not already. And that notification bell will tell you when there's a new video. We're always putting new videos up because we're always going out and about and doing stuff. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for those closer upper pictures. Know what we're doing out and about in the real world. And to uh, know if a video has dropped on YouTube. If YouTube doesn't let you know, we always let you know on those medias. And don't forget to go to Tee Public and get you some shirts. We want to see pictures of you guys in shirts. So uh, I think I've lost him to a book. So <laughs> I... Do you guys know this guy's name is Mario? Just like in the title. <laughs> His last name is Mario, too. No. Mario Mario. No. Luigi we, Mario. We don't accept <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. So. <coughs> it's kind of like you was holding that in for a little while. I was going to offer you a drink. Nice. All right. <laughs>
So, and then he bends at the stomach crunches. He told me that. I, uh, I'm very, ooh, crunch. I always feel like I'm breaking him with that noise. Good job. You wanna, do you wanna hug, big man? Oh, I love you. Oh. And he's dead. Oh, crunch. That was his spine. <laughs> oh, that's terrible.